Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. I'm going out for my two hour walk and I'm going to take you along with me and hopefully we can see something cool. So stay tuned. Woo! It's Smash Fishing. Some pretty colourful glass there. The old sea glass. All I'm doing is just walking along the shore edge at the moment. The tide's really high so I won't be going down to the lower part. I'm gonna have a little look around the common in a bit. First of all, see what we can find. That right there is a shanker shell or brown crab. Quite a small one that. Get a lot of these this time of year. Everything's shedding its shell. So hopefully the spider crabs come in soon and hopefully we can get out for a little bit longer. <laughs> Got an absolutely beautiful day today really low winds shame it's not a low tide so we can go find some lobsters <laughs> see you got the islands in the background here I'm just heading off to the end there give you guys a little show <laughs> be a killer spot for bass around here <laughs> there's the two islands we've got herm sark jetu and breku we got the little tower in the corner there. <laughs> Great spot for bass, all these sort of gullies and stuff. They'll all patrol in and out. There's a lot of food around this sort of bay, so we'll have to give it a try one time, that's for sure. That right there, that's a beadlet anemone. Feeds on all the little crustaceans around here, all the shrimps, small invertebrates. <laughs> Might as well have a look at some animals while we're here. <laughs> it's quite interesting the different seaweeds we've got around here. But on the west coast, we've got a lot more of the uh, of the sea lettuce and stuff. But uh, on on this coast, we've got a lot more of the Irish moss. We've got a smaller uh, dogwell eggs there, really crispy. <laughs> Good sized ray egg find these all over the beaches seen these in previous videos it's another spider crab shell there we go good old spider crab <laughs> hopefully these start showing up soon we'll hopefully be allowed to go after them how about a leg how about two <laughs> Up here we've got an ancient monument. I don't really know too much about it. Just gonna walk up, give you guys a little peek. Why not? It's called Vale Castle. Oh, what a view though. Absolutely beautiful Guernsey is. Especially on a day like this. You can't beat it. <sighs> 20 steps later, I'm knackered. Isolation's bearing down on me, guys. <laughs> this is the ground. Don't know what they used to do in here. We got a few dungeons and stuff. I know a few subscribers wanted to see some monuments and that, so perfect time to do it. Two hour lockdown and I'm knackered. Yeah, that few people have died near. Any spooky ghosts? <laughs> awesome. It's quite high up this monument though. We're right on a big hill here. You can see, looking out to the rest of Guernsey. <laughs> Some uh, creepy little bunkers down there, so we'll go in them. Why not? This is the first one. Oh, this is just a gun emplacement. Make sure there's no bees nest. Man dies from going inside bunker. <laughs> okay. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> Ooh, what's in this one? Not a lot. Oh, the steps, look at this. <laughs> Oh, look at that spider, that's gross. 
Turn my phone on. Oh, look at that. Oh, they're everywhere. There you go, guys. I'm not poking my head out of there. <laughs> it's actually quite fun, isn't it? Last emplacement of the day. This is where they used to have the massive machine guns protecting the coasts and the harbours. It's amazing how it's all still stood. I think the Germans built all this, but this was built later uh, before them, I think. If anyone knows, feel free to uh, fill me in. It's just a huge granite castle almost. <laughs> Just come and do a catch of cooking here one day. <laughs> oh yeah, that's more like it. Check that out for a view. The big 50 cow up here shooting all the boats. That's in Samson's Harbour right there. It's a great foraging bay just down here. Shame the tides ain't low enough though, guys. That looks a bit precarious. <laughs> it's quite cool looking around places like this though you never know what you're gonna see the structures have been around for a long time still kicking around now it's another good foraging beach right there i'm up on the wall at the moment should bring a bass rod down here it looks great all I'm doing is just walking along the wall, just enjoying myself at the moment. Nothing better to do. I feel like I'm retired. <laughs> what a beautiful day though. Stay tuned. Something really calming about listening to the birds. It's either that, or I've lost the plot. A few different plants here. This is the sea beet. That's quite a good plant as well. Usually they're a bit mashed up from the wind. This is the ribwort plantain. I've never been able to show these. These are the uh, stalks that come off them. Yeah, we got sort of a little ball on the end. And that's the antiseptic plant. Plenty of cuttlefish bones at the moment. They're all over the beaches. You get big ones, little tiny ones. <laughs> I feel like I've got my own private little beach here. Look, check this out. Got flat calm sea, nice sandy beach. I'm going to check out a rock because I don't know what it is. Anyone know what that is? It's a big circle of concrete. I take it it's an old gun emplacement that's been washed off. Yeah, it looks like it. it's got the ring on it. Cool how that's ended up here though. That must weigh bloody, what, 20 ton? <laughs> must have come up from up here somewhere. Oh, there's a good one. Oh, it's a good one, guys. Let's go. Oh, she's going. <laughs> Another one. Look at that. Oh, that's a skimmer. If ever I've seen a skimmer. That was about four. Not good enough. sand around here almost looks gold that right there is my kind of skimmer that's the sort of stone that will bounce a long way let's go she's gone beauty it's like the beetle and enemies down there don't know if you can see the little blue rim around there just where the tentacles start awesome to see though there's another one there Wicked. Nice little pier here. Be great to spin for some bass off here. Or even go for some mullet. 
never really had a walk around here before. It's quite cool. But you get some big bass coming in here. There's a big gully here, see? Runs in straight into the bay. It's wicked. Got to get the litter. Walking along the beach and see litter, why not pick it up? There we go. Going on a bit of a beach clean for a bit. <laughs> That's the only problem without fishing. You just gotta mooch about, take your time walking around. Whoop, and hopefully, don't trip over the ropes. <laughs> Good sized scallop shell there. Oh, it's a skimmer as well. <laughs> I love bays like this, where you got all the small potters, all the little boats. That's what makes Guernsey that. A bit of pottery. Fine bone china, made in England. Nice. But that was a big claw once upon a time. A big old brown crab claw that. It's a beast. Spot an Orma shell from a mile away. <laughs> Mother of pearl effect always gives it away. Good sized shell that one. Get those all over Guernsey. But the mother of pearl, people use it in pianos, and violins. You name it, it's a cool material, it really is. Not for me though. That's some huge limpets right there. Haven't seen none that size in a while. Absolutely, it must be sticking out two inches. <laughs> when all this, uh, all this virus stuff is over, I'm definitely coming to this beach for some logworm. There's logworm casts absolutely everywhere around here. And big ones. Well, hopefully they're big ones anyway. Only one way to find out. Got to love a nice beach walk. <laughs> Seagulls absolutely everywhere. The size of some of these, check them out. They're huge mounds for logworms. But I know higher up this beach, there's, there's stones underneath there, so I probably won't be able to dig those. But these ones, I haven't seen logworm cast that big in a long time. They're, they're all blow log, they're not black log. But great to see, I bet some big ones. That right there, I'll just put my rubbish down. That's a dead white ragworm. Take it, the birds have had it. It's quite a big one, that as well. That is a killer bait for everything, that white ragworm. If you can get it in numbers and big stuff as well, it's awesome. What a cool little place this is. Loads of these like little indents. It's like little bear caves. <laughs> Obviously we don't get bears around here. We've just we just about got rabbits. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a little look around here. Hopefully we find something cool. Can't remember these caves being here in the last con. Check that out. That one's very deep. Wouldn't mind doing a catch and cook in here sometime. Or oh, maybe not. Look at that roof. That looks like a cave in at any minute. <laughs> oh, certainly, there's a big boulder hanging off the end there. Check that out. That's a cool cave, but I am not going in there. <laughs> Another big old cave there. I'm in quite a big gully at the moment. I was just checking out the rough ground over here. Uh, I might come conga fishing here one time or maybe try for some bull huss. Looks like a great place for huss because there's a lot of tide rip around here. So you never know. This is what you call a view. Check that out. Got the islands in the background, all the rock structures, and that just screams fish to me. <laughs>
That's a big old wasp nest there. Check that out. Don't want to be staying around here for too long. <laughs> the dog whelk. Looks like it's drilling into a, a normal top shell there. Uh, sorry, a thick top shell. <laughs> Carnivorous snail. That's all for today's episode, guys. Just a little walkabout, a little forage on the beach. Got all my litter in my pocket. <laughs> It's just something to keep us by for now, a bit of content that gets me out for a couple of hours, keeps my nugget keep going. I swear, losing my mind stuck indoors. So stay tuned for the next episode, I hope you enjoyed this one. It's an absolutely beautiful day here when it's sunny. It's smash fishing, woo! Oh, if you like my channel, like and subscribe. It's smash fishing, woo! <laughs>